Hi. Um, well, I mentioned at the end, I, I think it was the end of uh, Photoshop High Part 2. Anyway, it's the one where we ended up with this image. Um, and <clears throat> so I, I gave you a little sample of Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's a problem when you're doing a screen recording and you're uh, playing in Photoshop at the same time. If you don't get out of the screen recording and back into Photoshop, <laughs> it doesn't work. Um, okay, I'm back in Photoshop and uh, I press the marquee tool. And, you know, I, I, I showed this in that same uh, part two, but um, I screwed it up. I, I, <laughs> I, I didn't have it right. I mean, I didn't have the explanation right. Here's what it is. So this, I have the, the um, marquee tool set for a four by five selection. And this is the 16 by 20 image. So if you were to print it <laughs> at 32 by 40, then this selection that I'm showing here would uh, be eight inches by 10 inches. <laughs> and the advantage of that is that I can print a proof of just this area on eight by 10 paper, cheap, Kirkland brand, Costco photo paper, premium photo paper. And, uh, and that will tell me what an eight by 10 of this picture of that particular area will look like if the whole picture is blown up to 32 by 40. So it's a proof, right? I mean, I can tell, uh, I can get an idea of uh, what the final thing is going to be like without having to print the whole thing <laughs> to find out. I can just print a piece. I can or print as many pieces as I want. So this is the process of uh, picking them out. And I'm, I'm trying to be a somewhat organized. I start up here in the corner because you know, you're getting lost in here easy. Um, <laughs> what do you mean get lost? You'll see, where are we? Okay, so this is that selection I made when we were smaller. And, you know, I really don't like it. <laughs> it doesn't do anything for me. It's a... Uh... Now, uh... now this looks a little bizarre. Uh, let's see. I've got this new Apple Magic Pad because <laughs> because uh, my Wacom wouldn't upgrade to Big Sur, which is what I'm using, and so uh, I thought, you know, fuck it, maybe Apple's stuff will always work on Apple stuff. So uh, I got this trackpad. And it really does a lot of things that the Wacom didn't do. I mean, it's, uh, it's, I, I really don't have it down at all. Uh, okay, what I'm looking for here, is, <laughs> sorry, I got a little uh, off subject there. What I'm looking for here is what something that I think will look good as a composition. And it's kind of t uh, hard to tell in the context of all this other stuff. So I copy it, and then we do a, <clears throat> we start a new document and paste. And so uh, we don't need the background layer, get rid of that. Delete, yes, and don't show it again. As everything's new, so I mean, I'm having to re-educate Photoshop. Um, okay, so, 
it's it's interesting and weird. Well, I'll get back to it. <laughs> the thing, command, command tilde. See, I only have two documents open. So I can just seesaw back and forth between the parent image and... Uh, <laughs> oh, that's bizarre. Uh, there's some kind of like... Uh, fish from the depths or something. I mean, you know, I don't like to make pictures out of this stuff. Let's just see if I can do this. Because I like for it to be uh, undefined. But you know, every now and then you see something and you say, <laughs> now you maybe don't even see the fish. Well, that's okay. I'm not going to show you where it is then. Um, so, so that's that selection. Um, so, oh, here's this one I started off with. And, ooh, I want to see if I can get this in a, oh, come on. <laughs> I guess I, I'm not used to this uh, magic pad yet. So it's, uh, it has some interesting control, interesting ways of controlling things. So I, what I like, I pointed out in, in the other video that I, I love this little area here, the, those colors together. And you know, you've got this kind of gradient here. It gives you a little glow in the middle. It's got a little bit of a three-dimensional effect there. So I, I like that. But, um, you know, I can't go any further to the right and the question is, is it a, is it going to be a good composition? So we'll talk about that when we get a few more <clears throat> and we can compare them. But, uh, so let me zoom out here a bit and get a broader perspective on things. So this looks interesting, but it's, I don't know what kind of a, see, I, <laughs> I have no, no idea what I'm doing here. I mean, I just, I look at it, I see it, that's interesting. It's got, uh, you know, look at all these colors here, and it's got sort of a shape across here, so it has a little... A uh, bit of an overall design element, right? And uh, here, down here at the bottom, we've got another uh, area of colorful stuff. So that makes it sort of a, a ooh, you know, I think I'll go a little higher here. Because um, I think this area up here is more interesting than this area down here. This more contrast. Or, so, uh, is it is it too high? You see, <laughs> that's another thing too. You you don't want to leave too much space. At uh, see th these major elements here. This is what I call a major element here. They, uh, if we lower the the selection a little bit, they come out about on somewhere near. Uh, a third here and here. You know, so is the rule of thirds, right? <laughs> Who knows if if that? But it, to me, it's not. It's a nice looking uh, composition. It looks uh, it looks balanced somehow. Well, let's let's put it by itself, and it may be easier to see. Yeah. I, uh, we'll come back. <laughs> you'll, you'll see more of this, but uh, so I, what I'm doing, I, I um, zoom out over here. What I'm doing is, uh, I'm, I'm just sort of looking around to pick off the cream of the crop. <laughs> you know, the 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 things that I think have potential to be interesting. Uh, 
uh, as, as themselves, as a, a thing. So, did these guys have it? I think, you know, you know, I like this, uh, I like this sort of filmy effect with, uh, you know, these vague suggestions of colors and shapes and stuff. Um, but, yeah, how does it work as a composition with those, with those darker elements? I, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Let's take it out and put it in here by itself. And say, does that hang? Yeah, I think it does. I think it looks. I think it looks good. Yeah. You just never know. The first judgment may be a, a mistake. Now I'd like to get this thing here, but it's sort of isolated. You know, I don't. Uh, I think that's. You know, you got this one dynamic element, we can call it, I don't know, dramatic element, going right through the middle. And then on either side, you've got these other things. And in a way, it's kind of a nice contrast. Okay. <laughs> I talked myself into it, right? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's weird. <laughs> I know that's my favorite word, right? I'd say that to everything. Everything is weird. Um, okay, one more. Oh, what about this? Got kind of a combination of dark stuff and light stuff. Oh, come on. No, don't do that. <laughs> what did that? Oh, uh, you see. Uh, come on. How did I get there? Okay. Command period gets you out of things sometimes. So, like I say, I'm ha I don't have this uh, trackpad down there. Yeah. That's kind of a like a... Uh, That's kind of like, uh, there's this dark element in the background and you've got all this flaming shit. <laughs> Let's see. Now I'm just playing here. I'm, I'm moving the selection a little bit to the left and seeing if that makes the composition any better. And what I'm losing, I'm losing this little colorful bit down here, but that gets more of this dark thing up here and, and it gets more red stuff up here. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, it, it somehow, the other one looked a little more satisfying to me. Uh, uh, Well, I'll tell you one thing that I think makes this better ha than having it over to the left is that you have this dark, well, let's, <laughs> I keep saying this, let's, let's just isolate it and, and take a look. Uh, now, the first thing I do, I've got seven pictures here. <laughs> first thing, thing I do is option command I and these are four by five, I'm going to increase them to 16 by 20, okay? Um, and if, no, I'm not going to finish setting up my TV. Um, oh, so, so they're now big, right? Um, and the reason for doing that is if they look good, at 16 by 20, then they could be a picture on their own. And you know, sometimes there are things about them that you don't think will work at that scale. So 
um, it kind of depends. Like if you if you printed this at a thirty-two by forty, um, it wouldn't have the complexity. And <laughs> see the the thing that I love about this, and that's really this is uh, I should have mentioned this earlier, I suppose, but. You see, this this picture, the parent here, has a sort of an o overall look. If you walk into a room and you see this from, from a distance, well, let's see. We'll do it a little distance here. So at a distance, it has certain features will stand out a little more. Like uh, for me, this area up here sort of jumps out. This jumps out. This over here, over here. So the the lighter areas and the and the warmer tones sort of stand out. And there's a, there's a there's a certain connection then between the the blues here. So um, there's a kind of a flowing effect from one side from both sides into the middle here. So that's kind of a, I call it a, a design element. It's not just, um, you know, like a Jackson Pollock where it's sort of an all over design. Here there, is, there, are, there are shapes and colors and, um, and so you can talk about whether, uh, whether well, they're interesting or not. So, but you see it at that level, and, and that's what you see. You see the sort of the overall thing, the color, you know, does that, that's kind of an odd combination of color. So if you see that at a distance, that's, that would be your first impression. That's an odd combination of colors. <laughs> but then um, as you get closer, other things start to be more prominent things that you didn't notice from across the room now are much uh, more a part of your uh, field of view. <laughs> How's this do it? How's this for art talk? You know, I, re I read uh, Art in America for a few years, way a long time ago, just to find out what people were talking about. But, um, so, as I say, you get closer and other, other things of interest start to pop up. And uh, so for me, that is what makes the picture interesting. It's not just the, the full view and that it, it's a picture of something like, you know, if this were Yosemite or something. So the whole view of Yosemite, it would be um, a very cohesive representative, right? Um, where, but the, <laughs> where was I going with that? But there, um, hmm. Well, whatever that was, it just totally fucking disappeared. So, <laughs> so let's go to all those, uh, so these are the enlargements. These are what you would see if you walk up close and look at things, but they're isolated here. So they, they may, uh, they may be interesting enough. Well, the, I've said this before. Interesting enough to stand in on their own. So that this the top one I like here, layer seven. This one is, you know, it's a little more. I. Okay, first impressions is this one is more interesting to this one. And, and it's mainly because for me, what draws me are the colors. And this is a more contemplative kind of thing. And it's not something that ordinarily I would see and think, wow. I mean, although, <laughs> I have to say, I think it's pretty good. I mean, it's a, it, it, it's a great image, but this one is just, uh, 
Well, it has more, uh, what do they call it? More flash, you know? It just, it, uh, that's what it is, really. It's just, it's a just a uh, more dramatic image, right? So this, this, <laughs> this is just my opinion, right? And um, I think everybody, everybody who does art has their its own own aesthetic, you know, the things that they think are beautiful, and and the things that they, you know, when they make, makes them feel good. So uh, th this is mine, you know, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm not telling you like a rule or a trick or anything. This is just what, what I like, and you know, so I see this one compared to the one before. So this one, it, it, it has this wonderful dramatic heaven and it has these wonderful things. But this, when I look then at this one, it's, uh, Wow, what I, I say it's more <laughs> it's more unified. In this case, I think. So it's sort of divided in two, right? So you're looking really at two halves here. But with this one, you don't have that sort of division and, and so there's uh you know <laughs> I, I, you know, what I'd love to do is just distort this little patch of blue here. I don't know, maybe it's okay. But, um, yeah, so this, the, the, the previous one, it has that, di had that diagonal and it, and it divided it in half. But this is <laughs> rule of thirds, right? We got, we sort, with these elements here, these dramatic elements are sort of somewhat dividing the whole picture into thirds. That's, that really wasn't my plan, but it turns out that way. And I think that may be part of the reason that that's uh, appealing to me anyway. So, okay, there's that one. Now, see, I'm remembering all this. You better remember it too, right? So uh, this, well, as I, I, I pointed out when I was making the selection, the, it has the kind of a design element. It has these rule of thirds kind of pictures here. This part is a little more dramatic, say, than this part, which is what, what, what these others are more like. They have more of this dreamy, sort of watercolory kind of stuff. And uh, this is more, uh, is more hard edge kind of thing. And you know, comparing those particular two ones, see, this is only <laughs> isn't this fun? I mean, I, it uh, these are not life and death decisions, you know. <laughs> I, I'm just playing here, and and it's wonderful to see to me, you know. Things that, when you look at the larger picture, you just don't see. But when you isolate them, they have their own little life of... <laughs> their own little life of their own, was what I was going to say. Which is about, uh, that one. So I, I, I kind of like this one a little better than this one. That could change. Who knows? So this one compared to what? This one. Yeah, this one is a... Now, you know, I... You know, it's... It's got... What makes it, I think, more of a standalone kind of picture is it's got... Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on. That's just one of my usual expression. There's a lot of stuff going on. you got stuff going up here, these... These little pink and blue uh, globs, whatever they are. And, uh, you know, these color changes from blue to pink to red to yellow, and then we go to green. So it's, it's pretty dynamic. And uh, here, I don't know, 
what the hell are these little ones? There's a sort of a uh, edge or a crenellation or something here. It corresponds maybe to this edge over here. So there's like... <laughs> so, uh, you know, all of these things to me are... Well, most of them, anyway, are dimensional. They have... Let me switch to the... <laughs> I'm less likely to make a, an accidental selection with this one, which I just did. <laughs> um, yeah, so there's, there are like, to me, there are like three dimensional elements. Not so much in this one as in some of the other ones I have. But, uh, you know, here you get a little three dimensional effect with a, as if light were falling on a curved surface here. And maybe a little bit of that over here. Here, a softer version of that. And so, um, it's not a totally flat surface. I mean, it, it's, uh, the, and because the, uh, The gradations in the colors add a dimensional effect too. I mean, it's like over here on this. Uh, come on. <laughs> oh, three months from now, I'll have this sucker down. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's like this edge here, you know, it looks like it's shaded along here as if it had. Uh, like this surface were higher and then it curved over the edge here. So uh, that's one thing I enjoy seeing. One thing keeps my interest is the suggestion that this could be real, that there could be something that you could build something like this. Here's another, uh, what to me is like a, a curved sort of a lumpy little thing. I mean, it has that, the contours of a, a lump, <laughs> a lump of something. Anyway, so, so those sorts of things, uh, to me, they create more interest and it keeps me looking longer. Uh, and, and, you know, for me, I, I have <laughs> my whole apartment. I have to give you a tour. My whole apartment is full of these uh, prints, like. And I don't want something that will get to be a habit. I, lo I like things that, um, and this is the case, I think, for me with this stuff, is that I like things that, if I stop and look, I don't look at them. <laughs> you know, I, I don't look at them every day in detail, but but every now and then I'm one will catch my eye. I stop there, and I still stand there and look at it. And um, <laughs> I'm looking at one right now. Uh, so I want to look at the one you can see, right? Um, well, so they're, you know, they're all here. And they're, uh, every time I look at them, I can find something that attracts my eye, something that, <laughs> that I find pleasant, you know? So, um, so I, I, I you know, <laughs> I, I, I have friends, I know people, who for them, what is an interesting picture is like a rolling grassy hillside with, uh, maybe a tree, a nice big oak tree or something growing there. And, uh, you know, a few puffy clouds or whatever. So <laughs> to them, that's, it's peaceful and sort of reassuring, you know, like that's, that's my reality. That's what I'm used to. Um, but that's not what I want. I want something that says, Wake up, fucker. Look around. Look at this stuff. What is this? this is crazy stuff, right? 
So I, I want st- I want something that grabs my attention and and, uh, and makes me look at it. Well, I tell you, I, I don't know how this works as an overall composition. You know, it's got this sort of dominant thing here and uh, nothing else, I don't know, it really ties in so much. Uh, But what I love, I love these little spots around the edge here. Uh, This is like a little blue ball, right? Odd bubble shape or something. And uh, all around here, and here we've got like a cavern, an indentation. So we can see through this as, as if this outer layer here were on a different level, and we can see <laughs> see through this hole. See this this wonderful contoured surface here. We can see through the hole to the world behind, and the world behind with the blue column here and the greens and all that it there as if it's as if they were on a different level so um that's something that for me adds interest is is if you can see through from one level to another or two or three so anyway but i th- i don't know as a, as a conversation as a whole i don't think it's uh got as much going for it as for some of the other ones. Now this one, <laughs> first one, now this definitely is, there's a lot to look at. I mean, there's stuff going on everywhere. I mean, <laughs> we got we got little nodules down, embedded down here. This is red, nod, not orange nodule embedded in a blue, surface of some sort, contoured, curved. There's a blue nodule in this little setting, like a jewel, right? Another jewel over here set in, in uh, this light aqua. <laughs> As if I knew colors, right? Um, so, so all around there, are, there are interesting things happening. This area over here is one of those sort of light, lighter, non-distinct, but it's a nice contrast to the areas that are more distinct, and uh, well, I think this is one of my favorites. Just, you know, composition-wise, it's good. I mean, it's good. There's no uh, no glaring, uh, you know, it's nice. <laughs> balanced. How do you know if something's balanced? You look at it, you say, it feels balanced, okay. <laughs> so my brain has a balance monitor, right? I don't know how it works. I just say, yeah, it's balanced. I like that. Okay, so so that's a keeper for sure. This layer two I didn't like so much. Layer three, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I like that one, but... You know, it's darker. It's uh, It's more saturated. And this one... Hmm. I'll compare those. The more things, although there's some some of the softer areas here, but you know, <laughs> orange and blue, you can't get more saturated than those go. And uh, so, in a way, that's more dramatic because they're, and this one is just a little softer. It's, it's like all over. There's a, you know, it's just, I, when I compare the two, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> it's funny when you like something and yet, you know, it's not, it doesn't really jerk your chain or anything. It's, you know, it's just, I like it, but... And I, I like the weirdness of it, you know, the combination of colors, that's good. But it doesn't really make me want to sing. Ah. <laughs> this one is more, a little more song worthy. 
So I'm going to I'm just going to close the, uh, the little eye on that bottom layer. So now we're layer three so far. Is that our first choice? We compare it to this one. I don't know. I, I don't. <laughs> I don't know how interesting this is, would be to someone else. I mean, if you are interested in what makes a good composition, I mean, something that is in some sense satisfying. Um, well, you have to look at a lot of different compositions to say which one do you like best. <laughs> you know, there there are. Oh, what did I decide here? This one or this one? God. You know, <laughs> now I'm leaning towards layer four here because this other one is looking a little too ha Halloween to me. <laughs> I don't know. We, we, got, we got ghost eyes or something here. And more ghost eyes up here. And maybe the colors or some particular color. So I'm thinking Halloween is not really something I recall with a great deal of warm emotion. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I never was much for holidays. Anyway, so, so this is my favorite so far. Level four, layer four, layer five. Oh, I like this one too. So, you know, if, if I think, I already told some, if some of you watched, I don't know. But on my Instagram, I put a, uh, an enlargement. Like, this is an enlargement from this, right? So, I put an enlargement on one side. And the main and the parent image on in the middle, and another enlargement on the other side. So it's a kind of a that's my uh, that's the way uh, I display my gallery. Um, so. You know, I have an ulterior motive, <laughs> and that is, uh, I think, I think the details are important. <laughs> I think that the details are worth looking at. They have their own uh, contribution to make to the world. Like this, this particular picture, I like it. I, don't, I do. It might be, might be one of my final favorites. Yeah, I like it better than that. And, you know, I like that. Damn, I do. It, you know, it makes me think of something like, uh, something gothic, you know, with the dark. I don't know. That versus this. You know, now that, now that I look at it, it has kind of a demon horn quality. If you, if you know demon horn. Um, so, fuck. You know, it's like, all of these will always be here. You know, there's a little thing, a little issue with this one anyway. And that is down here. Maybe more, more places than one, but. See, sometimes this happens that you get this kind of cross hashing effect, and I'm not sure exactly what makes it. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what makes it. But you know, something to do with the fact that you're layering things together, and and uh, and Photoshop is tweaking the shit out of everything to make it look halfway decent. So anyway, sometimes you get those things, and you know. I'm, uh, they used to really bother me. They would be like a definite uh, deal breaker, you know. If you got that kind of stuff, well, I can't use you, buddy. But uh, I'm getting more tolerant of what, now, what do you call that, digital artifacts. I mean, you know, 
canvas artists, they do, they have digital artifacts. So, <laughs> you know, palette knife marks, canvas texture marks, and all that. It's a mark of the medium, right? Well, this is a mark of the medium as well. These little hashing, but it's a different medium for it. Um, so, what do we do? This one or this one? Well, I think I'm going to go with the Devon Gorn. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> in a way, this blue spot bothers me here. But uh, at the same time, it sort of balances because this area down here is smaller than this area. So the blue sort of intrudes on it a little bit and makes it look a little... makes it look not so dominant or whatever anyway so those are my choices <laughs> and now the, the hard part is saying goodbye to all these other ones because they still live in their parent so they're oh fuck <laughs> I'm gonna get it down. Let's try it. Jump no. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying to delete these layers because they don't. Uh, uh, so let's try the trash can icon. That works. We'll do the old icon approach. And. So, those are the two final choices. <laughs> so, it makes for a smaller file size than um, saving all those others, and since they're there anyway. So, um, those, let's see. <laughs> oh, I can, yeah. So, I, uh, I look at them, option command O, looks at them from, uh, Full size. And see, we've got a little cross hatching in this one too, if you look at it that size. So, hey, I don't mind. <laughs> it's just my palette knife, right? Um, so, but the question is see, when you enlarge them, things, I don't know, I don't know if they actually become softer or just look softer. But if you do, Command Shift A, you will bring this image into the camera raw filter. And see what I did, just crank the shit out of the uh, clarity. So that makes things a little more distinct. I mean, you know, <laughs> maybe it's too much. I don't know. It kind of. Well, on one hand, it cuts back down on the watercolor effect a little bit, I think, when you have uh, stronger borders between things. Um, I don't know. So, I bumped it up a little bit. Not too much. Um, so the question is, sometimes, too, if you increase the... Uh, clarity, you also increase the blacks a little bit. So, turn those down. And so, what we'll do is Command Z, and you'll see it is even noticeable, right? So, it's a little more fuzzy before, and now after the filter, it's just slightly clearer. I mean, you know, it's not, it's not a huge thing. It's not a... Okay, now I'm going to do the, the control uh, command F to layer four, and we'll give it the same same uh, camera raw settings as we gave the other one, and then we'll do command C. Oops, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I don't know. Well, 
disability. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, I don't know what that was about. <laughs> anyway, so, um, did, okay, yeah, we did the camera raw filter twice. Uh, oh, Jesus. Well, <laughs> it's too confusing. I'm just going to think that that's probably better than it was before. Even though I didn't see the transition. Um, okay, so there's two pictures and I'll pick one and print it out and see if it holds up on my printer. But you know, they're always disappointing because uh, the printer can't do light greens and uh, pinks are not wonderful either, light pinks. So it doesn't have the dynamic range that the screen does. But if they're printed on these, what these are behind me, these are pr printed on aluminum. It's a dye sublimation process. And, um, and that process has more dynamic range than my little inkjet printer always, excuse me, a good inkjet printer, but it's not, uh, it doesn't have the dynamic range of these uh, prints on aluminum. So anyway, is there anything else? Um, yeah, I think I told you about my ulterior motive. <laughs> <sighs> to uh, to encourage people not just to look at the thing as a whole and say, hey, I get it, or don't like it, and walk away, but to look at it and then come a little closer or make it bigger or whatever, or just focus a little more on smaller areas and see if there's something there that... that uh, somehow makes you somewhat excited. <laughs> and you just never know. You might just encounter something that uh, will make your heart sing. So, look closely. Okay? <laughs> All right. Have fun. Bye.